Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead, story and pictures by William Penn Du Bois. Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead lived in an electric house. In the morning when the sun rose over the hill and warmed his window sill, his bed started to move. It rose to the ceiling and slid Lazy Tommy out, out of his nightshirt into a bathtub filled with hot water. There was a water spinning machine in Lazy Tommy's bathtub. It made waves to splash and wash him. The bathtub then tipped over and slid Lazy Tommy out, water and all, through a trap door in the floor, into the drying room, into a harness which held him standing up. The water ran out through a drain in the floor of the drying room, but Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead stayed standing to be dried. Hot air blew all over Lazy Tommy and dried him. A toothbrushing machine squeezed toothpaste on his teeth and scrubbed them. An electric comb and brush parted his black hair. Lazy Tommy found this made him tired. He didn't like to be held standing up. It was soon over and he slid down a chute into his shorts, pants, socks, and shoes. Still held up by his harness, on his way down a hall to the dining room, a sailor suit fell on Lazy Tommy. At table, the eating machine played music and fed Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead. It gave him cold cereal, hot cereal, five bananas, four apples, six scrambled eggs, ten slices of bacon, and eight pieces of hot toast and jam. The eating machine then poured one quart of orange juice and two quarts of milk, followed by seven cups of cocoa, into Lazy Tommy. The eating machine then wiped Lazy Tommy's face with a napkin as big as a bed sheet and turned itself off. After eating, Lazy Tommy was really tired. It was the start of his long afternoon. He wiggled out of his harness, pushed himself away from the table, and walked slowly to the staircase. He looked sadly at the terrible stairs, one on top of the other, going up and up forever and ever. He made himself start the big climb because he knew that hard as it was when the sun set at night, he would at last Long last reached the floor above in his lovely electric bed. One night, there was rain and wind, thunder and lightning. The poles, which were strung with wires to bring electricity to Lazy Tommy's house, fell, and the wires were broken. In the morning, when the sun rose over the hill and warmed his windowsill, the electric bed did not move at all. Lazy Tommy didn't wake up. He slept four days and nights. The fifth morning, he woke up hungry. He could see the sun was up and warm. He wiggled and wobbled to get his bed to move. The electric bed stood still. He wiggled and wobbled some more. The electric bed still stood still. Wiggling and wobbling made him tired. Well, if I must sleep, sleep I must, said Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead. He rolled over and snored. Two days later, the poles and wires bringing electricity to his electric house were put back. At long last, the electric bed moved again. It rose to the ceiling and slid Lazy Tommy out of, the night, out of his nightshirt into a bathtub filled with water. The water was seven days old and seven days cold. It was icy cold. Lazy Tommy screamed. He moved fast. He had never moved so fast before. He stood up to jump out of the spinning water just as the bathtub tipped. He slipped and slid head first through the trap door into the drying room into his harness, which this time held him standing upside down. Hot air blew all over Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead. The toothbrush and machine squeezed toothpaste on his toes and scrubbed them. It tickled Tommy terribly. He had a fit of giggles. When the electric comb and brush combed his feet and parted his toes, he thought the end had come. He was giggling so he couldn't catch his breath. He thought he was going to die laughing upside down. What a way to go, he thought, with my toes full of toothpaste. Just in time, he slid down a chute headfirst into shorts and pants, socks and shoes. As he rolled down the hall to the dining room, a sailor suit fell on Lazy Tommy's legs. 
He was seated upside down at table with his hands in his socks and shoes and his head in his pants. The eating machine played music and started to feed his feet. Fresh food for the eating machine had been delivered each of the seven days Lazy Tommy had slept. It was now ready to explode. Seven cold cereals, then seven hot cereals, tumbled out, tickled, and warmed his feet. Next came a landslide of 35 bananas and 28 apples. Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead was screaming and pedaling fast, upside down, kicking fruit all over the room. The eating machine stopped a moment to get ready for the main dish. A muffled voice was heard from the seat of Lazy Tommy's pants. Please, Mr. Eating Machine, no eggs today. The eating machine couldn't hear. Out dropped 42 scrambled eggs and 70 slices of bacon, then 56 slices of hot toast and jam. Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead started to cry. I'm starving upside down, he thought. What a terrible way to go with my toes full of eggs. Seven quarts of orange juice, then 14 quarts of milk, followed by 49 cups of cocoa next soaked. Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead. The eating machine wiped his feet and turned itself off. Lazy Tommy Pumpkinhead wiggled out of his harness. He shook his shoes and socks off his head. He pulled his pants off his head. His face was bright red. He sat on the floor deep in the middle of breakfast. The music from the eating machine faded softly into silence. For a long time, he didn't move at all, just sat still like a fat tomato in an omelet. How, Lazy Tommy Pumpkin had asked out loud to no one, how did I get myself into this mess? I really must turn over a new leaf before it is...